The fight for her life. A trans woman was attacked by her coworker with a knife at a construction site in Northwest DC. In a story you will only see right here on WSA 9, she tells our Rafael Sanchez Cruz why she believes she was targeted and what her alleged attacker is telling police. Jose Marillas says her physical wounds are slowly healing, but the emotional ones are still raw. Me da miedo porque siento que... I'm scared because I feel like someone is pulling me back. I'm scared. Everywhere I go, I just keep looking behind me. On Friday, August 5th, this trans woman from Guatemala says she was attacked while working at this construction site in Northwest DC. She says one of her co-workers approached her on the third floor as she was discarding metal. She noticed he was hiding his right hand. What do you have back there? I suspected something was off when he had his hand hidden. When I asked him that, that's when he jumped on me. Jose says they tussled on the ground, but she was able to escape until she was cornered in another area. She says the man pulled her by her hair and got on top of her. In his right hand, he had the knife. With his left, he was choking me. With my left hand, I was holding his hand with the knife. He was trying to stab me in the leg and stomach, but I was able to take the knife away from him. Jose was nicked by the blade above her right eye and cut her hand. She says her co-worker was trying to stab her with so much force that the blade broke off the handle. Déjame matar. She says the only thing he said to her was, let me kill you. Si yo no meto las manos. If I wouldn't have put my hands up, he would have taken my life. La vida. EMS responders contacted DC police about the incident. Later that day, 19-year-old Brian Flores was arrested. He's facing charges for assault and attempted possession of a prohibited weapon. Jose thinks discrimination over her gender identity was the motive for the attack. Court documents indicate that Flores admitted to officers that he used a knife against Jose, but that it had been for an alleged sexual assault. Jose denies these accusations. Si sido cosa bien. If there would have been harassment or something, that doesn't mean you threaten someone's life. Now, Flores was released from police custody and has a stay away order that has been imposed against him, Sharla. Absolutely terrifying ordeal for her. All right. Thanks so much, Rafael.